Hey everyone, my name is Aaron and I'm a realtor in Houston, Texas. I love working with home buyers. My favorite part, being able to educate and guide them through the confusing home buying process step by step. That's why I decided to create this series of videos. I hope you enjoy them. I'd love to help you with the purchase of your next home. And if you're not in my area, I'd be happy to help you find someone near you. It gets complicated. Hire an expert to help you. While the title company has started their process and the lender has started theirs, we have a lot of work to do as well. If you remember, in a previous video, I mentioned the option period. Well, now we're in it. What does that mean? In the contract, we offered to pay a nominal fee, typically $100 to $200 for a number of days, typically seven to 10, in which we can walk away and terminate the contract for any reason, only losing that small fee. This could be because you've changed your mind, found a better opportunity, or most commonly, there are unforeseen issues with the house. At the beginning of the option period, we'll have an inspector come out. The inspector will give us their findings and we'll have a good idea of the condition of the home. There'll be things that we want repaired. There'll be things that we can accept. And there could be things that would cause us to completely walk away. We'll make a list of the things that we'd like to see corrected. We'll find out what those repairs would cost and we'll present this to the sellers. The sellers will come back to us with what they're willing to do or pay for and we'll once again negotiate. Hopefully, we can come together on an agreement, and if so, we'll add that agreement to the contract. If not, well, that's why we purchased the right to walk away during that time. So, what's an inspector looking for? Well, I asked an inspector. 